Hey, happy Friday. Good morning. We made it to another Friday. Yay. Yay. I'm Dr. Dr. Robin. I'm a former competitive beach volleyball player turned psychologist with continuing education and nutrition. And this is Russ. He's a former competitive bodybuilder and trainer on the Mr. Olympia tour. And he's been training, training and teaching, learning and teaching. I can talk. Learning and teaching nutrition for the past 45 years. There it is. Together we've created the Whole Food Muscle Club and written the book, How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way. We are actually a couple. Good morning, Brenda. Hey, Brenda, it is another Friday. It is. Um, and yes, we are a couple. I'm very happy to say this one's mine. We come on here, <laughs> now I gotta remember what I'm trying to say, at 9.15 every day to uh, share information, share our journey, to, Give you information about. Once in a while, I'll show you our, show oatmeal. our oatmeal. Look at that. Look all that kind of fun is. stuff. So, Vicky, hey, good hey, morning. Good morning, Vicky. And on Fridays, we give you um, kind of a review of what the topics that we've talked about throughout the week. So, on Monday, we talked about our weekend, and um, we told you we went to two different vegan potlucks. Um, one on Friday was a really big potluck that happened at a, uh, a local church. Yeah, it was a Thanksgiving pot. Uh, potluck and it had a spread you wouldn't believe it was unbelievable yep. the amount of vegan food that was there it was so good um i had an interesting conversation with a friend of mine who's a caterer because she said uh, and not at the potluck this was uh later and she said that she doesn't ever know how to feed people who are vegan and i said yeah well there's a learning curve but there's tons of oppor opportunity and one thing i can tell you for sure is just because you're vegan doesn't mean you eat like a rabbit no you know Definitely I mean, that's, that's, well, that's the thing that amazes us is we go out to restaurants and you say you're vegan and then they're being like a carrot with a little parsley, you know, to decorate it. And we, <laughs> I, I will say, yes, vegan is an ethos. We are not technically vegan. Right. We are plant-based because we eat plant-based. We aren't vegan otherwise. But it is a word that we use when we go out because people understand it. They know what it right. means uh, and, to eat vegan. And you can rest assured that you can, if you're feeding somebody a vegan meal, you can pile it on. Yeah. Give us lots of food. Right, because we'll eat it all. Um, and then on Saturday, we had some friends over, and everybody brought something. And I made sweet potato lasagna. That video is still up in the Whole Food Muscle group. So yeah. if you haven't gotten a chance to watch me put that together, do that, because it will probably come down this weekend or maybe on Monday. Yeah, the previous week is down. Oh, gone. Yes. All right, so... The uh, sweet potato lasagna is up. Make sure that yeah. you uh, check that out. And I made an extra one. We're going to bring it to Russ's mom's for Thanksgiving. Right. So that was a lot of fun. I also told you that um, because of those two nights, I gained five pounds. Yes. Incidentally, all the recipes, the video recipes that Robin does are on the website. Yes. If you are a member of the Whole Food Muscle Club, which is you go to wholefoodmuscleclub.com, um, all, all the videos that I do for recipes are on there for, right. for members. So... Oh, I'm not paying attention to comments. Yes, dear. I'm sorry. Chastity, good morning. Good morning, Chastity. Um, so I gained five pounds because of the uh, potlucks and everything. And not because, like, oh, I gained five pounds in weight, but just the amount of bulk and whatever. And we don't know how much sodium was in the food and how much salt. Yeah. The things that we don't usually eat. But you know what? That's awesome. Right? I have one pound left. This morning I woke up, but I'm still one pound heavier than I usually am in the morning. Mm. And we've told you before, one pound, one way or the other is not really a thing. You don't have to worry about that. Andrea, hey, hey. it's good, good morning, to see Andrea. you. So um, yeah, that was fun. On Sunday, I burned my throat really yeah. badly. Um, I ended up with some really scaldingly hot tea in my mouth. We were driving on a road that bounced just as I tried to take a drink and I ended up with very hot tea in my mouth. I do still have blisters on the back of my yeah. throat. Um, from that. So that was not pleasant. I recommend against Less, it. Lesson to be learned. If you got scalding hot fluid in your mouth accidentally, spit it out. Spit it out. And I yes. didn't. And I had an interesting conversation with my sister about that. Um, she has a, a child that's one year old and she said, children will automatically spit things out. If you right. put something in their mouth that's too hot or whatever, they will spit them out. Right. But as adults, we learn this that that's inappropriate. Culturally, accept culturally acceptable Yeah, it's unacceptable behavior. for adults to spit things out, and I didn't spit it out, and I absolutely yeah. should have, because I scalded my mouth, I burned the back of my throat, and I'm sure, because it was hot when it went down, I probably burned my esophagus as yeah. well. So, definitely a uh, word to the good wise. Good morning, Tammy. Tammy, hey, good morning. Deborah's here. Deborah, good morning. Yeah, good to see everybody. So, yeah, I, I don't know how you, how you do that, like... Like in I told her, moment, she could, we were in the car, and I know I get that she didn't want to spit it out because you don't want to, but I'm like, the floor has a mat on it. We can always clean the mat. It's, 
And it was only know, tea and water. I mean, it yeah, it wasn't a big, it was hibiscus tea, which is red. So, but obviously, I mean, I knew as soon as it burned me, like I leaned forward, but then I covered my mouth and I swallowed it. And I yeah. never should have done that. I yeah. should have spit it out. Right. So, let word, that be a lesson word to the wise. Morning. Sheila's here. Good, good morning. morning, Sheila. We're from Illinois. Illinois, love it. Hope it's good there. Um, so that was Monday. We talked a lot about Monday. Um, on Tuesday, we had an interesting conversation with you about the concerns that men bring to us about being plant-based. Yeah. Um, men seem to get really, men particularly, women not as much, but men particularly seem to get caught up in the idea that if you're going to eat plant-based, you have to count your amino acids you're and gonna, you have to make sure you get them all right. And you're going to shrink and lose muscle tissue and where am I going to get my protein, all these types of things that come up and none of it. If you've seen the movie Game Changers and you're looking at these athletes that are plant-based, you know, I mean, the, the, they had a strong man in there, a guy who had to weigh over 300 pounds. He's not losing weight because he's plant-based. He's gaining weight and he's gaining muscle and he's gaining strength. And he's a huge man. And he's a huge man. Yeah. yeah. So that is definitely something men get this in their head. And I, I mean, I get it. It is culturally this thing. Um, and men also worry about, you know, losing weight, even if it's fat weight. Like they don't, they, the number on the scale to a man, they want it to be big. They want it, mm -hmm. they want to be muscular and all this stuff. So With their 48 inch waist. Right? It's, yeah. <laughs> silliness. So um, that's something that, that we run into with a lot of men. So we talked about that on Tuesday and we kind of talked through why those aren't things you have to worry about. Um, you can tell from looking at us, we have muscle. We work out um, quite a bit and that's where you get your muscle. You know, muscles are made in the gym. Mm -hmm. um, so it just makes you, makes you leaner so that the muscles show to be plant-based. Right. On Wednesday, we talked to you about sports drinks and how they can actually cause dehydration or make dehydration worse. Because, and most people, the vast majority of people, have no reason to be drinking mm -hmm. sports drinks I, anyway. I saw a guy in the gym this morning, I didn't talk to him, but I noticed he had a, uh, you know, a water bottle that he was shaking. So that tells me he has some kind of sport drink, some kind of mix in there that he thinks Protein. Is, but, and he was, and he'd do a set and he looked like he was going to die. I mean, really? really no. I mean, and, I, you know, I wanted to have a conversation with him, but, you know, those are, those are sometimes hard conversations to have mm -hmm. with people. Um, you know, tell them, you know, that drink you're probably drinking is probably what's making it worse for you, not better. But, yeah, eat beets. Eat beets. That's what we tell you, eat beets. Eat beets and drink water when you're working out. Yeah. Those so are the two things. What happens with a sports drink, if you are working out really, really, really hard, your body is excreting sodium. You know, sweat tastes salty. You probably know that. It's excreting so uh, sodium. If you put, and it seems logical that, oh, then I should drink something that has sodium in it. But if you drink something that's very sodium heavy, when that ends up in your intestines, there ends up this imbalance where your intestines have a lot of sodium in them and your tissues don't. And what your body wants to do is balance that sodium. But rather than bringing the sodium in from your intestines, it pushes water into your intestines to offset the sodium that's in there. And that can dehydrate you further because now you've pulled water out of your tissues that are already dehydrated. So we told you, just eat real food and drink water when, when yeah. you're working And out. the same thing with the electrolytes. They're saying now that there's probably more electrolytes in the water than there is in yeah. like the, the brand products that you think they claim they have electrolytes in them. So. Now, if you're an extreme athlete and you're doing things that are going to um, deplete your glycogen, then you're, that's a different story. We're not talking about extreme athletes. We're talking about people um, you know, like us and people who maybe don't work out as much as we do. Just don't drink sports drinks. There's yeah. no reason uh, for, for right. you to do and that. And there's nobody in the gym we go to, with maybe the exception of one person that's a professional athlete, needs to do anything when they're working out. Just yeah. drink water. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Um, and then yesterday we talked about chronic constipation, and I told you that 16% of um, people in the United States have chronic constipation. That number goes up to 30% for people over 60. I struggled with that a lot before we went plant-based. Um, I had a major surgery because they thought that that was the problem, and it turned out that wasn't the problem, didn't nice. solve the problem at all. So I had a major surgery, which was a major complication that led to another major surgery for no reason. Right. And when I went plant-based, the constipation has gone completely away. I recommend if you do nothing else, if you are struggling with constipation, eat what we eat for breakfast. Eat oatmeal every day. Let um, me show that to you again. Um, Look at, I mean, just looking at that, the bananas overflowing, the blueberries and raisins, and oh my God. It's so God. much food. It it's is so, so good. good. And just doing that, you'll be surprised what a difference it makes for you. The other thing, the tip that I gave you was eliminate cheese. Cheese is mm. absolutely horrific. The cheese that binds you. It does, it's true, because not only does it not have fiber in it, but there are things in cheese that actually slow down the process mm -hmm. in your GI tract, so it makes it worse in two ways. And 
this is dealing with a, a conversation we had way back when we probably should have again. Uh, yes, we understand that you love cheese and you have to have your cheese. And that is because cheese is addicting. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's... Purpose, Queso morphine. Right, it's addicting. And it, the whole point of it is the more you eat, the more you want. Mm -hmm. It's like any drug you take. The more and we you get have, it. We were there. We were there. Yeah, we used to have every Friday night, man, we had a block of cheese we went to town on. Yep. So, we should probably have that conversation again. Yeah, I think that's yeah. going to be our next one of our next topics. All right. So that's what I have for them for this week. Make okay. sure that you like and share. Tell other people about us. That's how we you know, get to make a difference. We are trying to help 100,000 people in the next five years. And we can't do that if you don't help us by mm -hmm. sharing um, our message with other people. So please do that. And for members, we are revamping the website. So again, again, uh, to make it better. New launch. What's well, going to have things like search functionalities and categories. And a lot of you um, said you wanted a search function. Right. So we're working on creating we're working on that. that. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll be launching it. We'll let you know when that happens. Um, and then we're going to include a lot more as time goes on. We want to include a lot more working out stuff, you know, exercising stuff and just really going to be exciting. I get excited when I think about he it. He does. So. He's very excited about so. it. So you can go to wholefoodmuscleclub.com and learn about that. Um, and you can get the book anywhere books are sold. Mm -hmm. How exactly. to Feed a Human. Right? I think that's what we've got. I think that's what we, we should have. go eat our oatmeal. Okay. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day. Have a good one. We'll see you on Monday. And I will be cooking this weekend. I don't yeah. know what, but I will be. Now when, but it will happen. I will happen. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day.